everybody welcome back to my channel it is Walmart beauty box time again and everyone is receiving their winter 2019 box I'll be honest with you I received mine about two weeks ago and I've just now making the time to record it they're still going out in waves my friend Sandy that lives about two hours from me uh, two or three of her products were totally different from mine you know I don't know how they divvy it up according to when you joined or what region of the country you live in or whatever the case may be but for five dollars every season it's totally worth it just as a little happy for yourself now this month the box usually comes really colorful and pretty it was just a little baby blue plain cardboard box and I will put the link below if you can't find uh, where to sign up for this and I think most of us already know this but they do have different boxes they have a, a men's box they have a baby subscription box and then the women's uh, have two different categories kind of under 30 and the trendy and then over 30 more of the classic okay. We can't expect a home run every season, but this box I think is a little heavy on the anti-aging. And if you're into masks, this is your box. But this was not my favorite box that I've gotten here in the last several seasons. So I'm going to just dive in and show you what I got this season. My box starts off with a website and an opportunity to win a $100 gift card for filling out a survey. Evidently, there is some Neutrogena and Garnier products this month because I have a few inserts about those brand products. I'm going to have to put on my glasses so I can see here. All right, see, Olay Daily Facials Daily Hydrating Clean dry cloth so i guess you wet it and then the product activates it's just a cleansing cloth for i guess any time and i won't necessarily use that but i'll give it to somebody who does all right the next thing and i've gotten this before in something it is the garnier uh, damage repairing treat it's a hair mask and there again i probably won't use that because i have to be really careful with conditioners on my hair it just makes my hair totally limp the next thing is a not day or nighttime mask by Garnier. They have great products, but I'm just I just really don't do many masks. But and I will certainly give that to somebody who does. The next thing here's a, a Neutrogena product is called Collagen Kiss. We got something like this in either Ipsy or last season, and it is a lip mask. I can tell in the container that it's just shape of a lip. It's really cute packaging. It's a collagen infused lip mask. So I'm not saying I will or won't use it, but it's just not something I would buy. And this is probably my full-size product that we normally get each season. And this is one of those Sue So AE brands. It is a black charcoal bubble sheet mask. There again, I usually don't do those, but I have a friend who loves masks, and I will probably give her most of my box if she doesn't get this. And the last actual beauty product is some of that Cruel hydrotherapy it's the wet skin moisturizer I have tried some of those products before and I really don't like putting lotion on my wet skin it just doesn't feel like it rubs in it's just you it makes your whole body slick and then you're sitting there waiting for the wet lotion to dry I'm just not a big fan of it I know Jergens has one and we've gotten this a time or two so you know I can always use it and my feet and elbows and last but not least in our box we got a really nice makeup bag this time but it's super cute well made um, it's got little raindrops on the outside it does have the Walmart logo on the back and a cute little metallic little tassel so there you go friends like I said before it's not my favorite box if you're not into mask and things like that but it's a lot of fun to see what everyone gets thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon bye bye